Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and if you're not much of a live stream watcher, you might have missed this, but yeah, this is a new island. I might have deleted Lorien. Yeah, it was kind of cruel of me to do that on March 31st. I wasn't even thinking about how April Fools was the next day, so people thought it was an early April Fools joke. It wasn't. Lorien is gone. You can still visit her. I will pop the dream address in the video description so you can check that out, but yeah, she's gone. And because I wanted to do this on a live stream, I let viewers choose the name and theme for this island. So let's take a look at the map. This is my new island, Nightshade, and viewers have selected Witchy as the theme for this island, which is so far outside my comfort zone. But I know you all love to challenge me just to be nice, right? My starter villagers are Kid Cat, who is a super lucky villager. I mean, a little cat, are you kidding? Look at him. And even though I was just on the map, I've already forgotten the girl villager. I think it's Tammy, hold on. Look at me with my impeccable memory, it is Tammy. So those are the villagers that we're working with. I don't think either will stay because neither of them are giving witchy vibes. It's also bunny day season here on the island, which is less than ideal. But today I wanted to go ahead and get started on the island figure out what the heck we're gonna do to get this witchy vibe underway okay i've hopped over to lotus reef so we can actually do reactions as i think today's sponsor merge gardens merge gardens is a combination match three and merge game with a beautiful art style it is such a relaxing way to pass the time and it has a very satisfying sort of organizational element so if you like to be organized i think you're gonna love this game you can arrange your garden any way that you want to there's an element of mystery to this game as you unlock different characters who have been trapped into Topiaries, I think that's so creative. I also love the mystery that comes with the merging process. That's probably my favorite part of the game. I really enjoy merging, especially wildlife, to figure out what the upgraded forms of wildlife look like. But you can also merge plants and garden items to create new things. The match three element comes in with puzzles that you solve in order to progress in the game, to up your level and unlock new areas. Personally, I really love to play when I wake up in the morning and as I'm eating lunch, it's just a great way to pass the time help me wake up and like I said it can be so satisfying you have to be really mindful about where you place things in your garden so you can merge eggs and plants more easily I think my favorite wildlife has to be the little bee it's so cute you can download the game via the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen this game is completely free to play and I think you're gonna love everything you can do in it so yeah thank you again to merge gardens and I hope you all enjoy the game alrighty so getting started here I did want to say I have not not had a chance to cheat myself into having better items yet. I haven't visited my other island to pick up some stuff that I know I'd want. So we're really working with the bare minimum here. Absolutely nothing. I honestly don't think I even gave critters to Tom Nook. So we don't even have the museum yet. Also, I mean, help me out friends, family, enemies. What the heck am I gonna do with the museum? Do I build it and make it some kind of like mausoleum? I don't know. I can't even give Tom Nook my critters because I have to talk to him. Oh my gosh, are they already talking about Nook's cranny? I don't have any of the materials for that either and I'm too lazy to get them myself. So I guess I'm gonna have to wait until I get some materials from Lotus Reef. That's like the con of deleting the island where I had all the materials, all of my items. Now I've got to grind a bit because I don't think I even have all of the materials I need on Lotus Reef. Both of these are very new islands. Oh my gosh, Tom Nook just gave me my first Nook Mile ticket as well. So I think we should go villager hunt, except I don't have any Nook Mile tickets here. So it's really gonna be a one Nook Mile ticket hunt. I literally don't even have enough Nook Mile tickets to buy, or Nook Miles to buy a ticket. So we're really gonna do it with one. Okay, so I went through all the conversations and resident services. Like I talked to Timmy about starting a shop and everything and I totally forgot to give Mr. Nook. Why did I call him that? I forgot to give Mr. Oh my god. I forgot to give Tom Nook the critters that are in my pocket. So. Even though I was flying through that as fast as I could, I felt like that conversation took 10 years, so I sped it up for you. You're welcome. And I don't want to hear a single one of you in the comments talking about, oh my gosh, Lex, this makes me want to restart my island. Did you see how long that took? 
how much dialogue that was? You don't want to restart your island. Did you not remember how agonizing the beginning of the game is? I'm just kidding. The beginning of the game is fun, but there is quite a lot of conversation. I'm really trying to keep everything off of land until I know where I want to place everything. So I'm not really sure if the museum is even going to fit. I can't access the right side of the island right now. So unless it fits in that bottom F1 corner, I don't know what the heck we're going to do. Oh my gosh, I get to talk to Tammy with that cursed rabbit in the background. I always want to call him Hopper, but his name is Skipper. Oh my gosh, Tammy gave us a shovel early. So I guess maybe if you do bunny day before you uh, like get the museum ready before you talk to blathers maybe you'll get a shovel from your villager instead now i can dig up dirt eggs i'm not going to well they're earth eggs i'm not gonna dig them up but i could if i wanted to also it's looking to me like there's gonna be plenty of room for the museum but fingers crossed i think this will be good Okay, look at that. We've made so much progress already. I have some Nook Miles to claim. I talked to him from this angle so you could see the zipper on his back. I know that that's like contributes to his name, but he 100% is a human in a costume and he's so creepy. Like zero out of 10. I'm a lucky old bunny, yippity yipper, and here's a little tip. You can call me Zipper. He also rhymes, so honestly, jail. You can clap now. No, really, go on. I'd rather not. Actually, I will never, ever. Well, well, this isn't swell. Oh my god. Get me out of here. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume. And don't you go snooping. Got it? That's so creepy. How did he make it into the franchise? I spared you the rest of the conversation, but if he never talks to me again, it'll still be too soon. You know what? Let's go ahead and go see who our first villager is going to be. If the villager on the Nung Mile Island is ugly, I'm literally just going to let it randomly fill. Speaking of dialogue, here we are with Orville, who also likes to talk a lot. Honestly, he and Blathers could be best friends, except they'd never let each other get a word in. They'd both just be talking at each other constantly for hours. Oh my gosh, speaking of more dialogue, here's Wilbur, but I do enjoy this conversation because it's the one where he's like we don't come back to these places ever here it is i actually burn the flight plans afterwards security reasons can't explain more than that he's so mysterious and cool this is why wilbur is the best npc let's see who we got <gasps> stop did i bring a vaulting pole no i think i can jump though oh my god oh my god how do you make, can I make a vaulting pole? We have to bring Coco. She's perfect for a witchy theme. How did this happen? How has this come to occur? I don't have a vaulting pole, but let's see what it takes and we'll just have to make one because we are not leaving this island without her. Guys, bad news. I don't have the vaulting pole recipe yet. I think there's a way to run over there. We'll just um, hope for the best here. I think this, I think the spiral islands are totally accessible. Yeah, here we go. Look at her. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Coco. And you're Lex from Nightshade. God, how did she? This is like the best first villager luck I've ever had. Aside from Coco, the only villager I know that I want is Kiki. So if you have any recommendations for witchy villagers, let me know. But this one's literally perfect. I'm kind of shocked. This is incredible. Truly a 12 out of 10 experience. And now I'm gonna shake these trees so that I can get the one item that you can get. Oh my gosh, did my, my flimsy net broke? It's been a day. It's been a hard day for me, you all. I'm scared to shake any of the trees because what if a, what if it's the one with a wasp? I don't want to be sick for the rest of the, the video. I'm too lazy to make medicine. Don't even ask me to do that. Never mind, we got five twigs. I keep calling them twigs instead of tree branches. I was doing that in the stream too. I have not played Animal Crossing enough. I'm losing my Animal Crossing vocabulary. Anywho, let's find the single piece of furniture. Oh my God, not the first tree I shook having the wasp. I told you all, it's cursed. I, I'm so glad I didn't even try. Now let's find the furniture item. What is it? An intercom monitor. Okay, not what I was hoping for, not what I wanted, but you win some, you lose some. Let's go ahead and head back to the island and prepare for Coco's arrival. I'm shaking in my boots. This island has already been blessed. I can't even remember what the, what I'm supposed to do now, I guess. I mean, you talked to Tom Nook, but I want Coco to move in now. Ah, Lex, I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up. I did. 
Not Tom not giving me a single stone. He wants me to make a flimsy axe, which is not what I wanted to hear. What I wanted to hear was, hey, go set up this plot for Coco, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna collect enough resources to make two of the, whatchamacallit, flimsy axes so that I can start gathering the wood materials at least for Nook's Cranny. And then I've gotta get, I'm just gonna have to get the iron from a treasure island or something because I cannot do this mentally, I cannot. I don't even remember how long it took me to get 30 iron nuggets the first time I ever played Animal Crossing, but on the bright side, I wasn't like, it wasn't a jump scare for me because people were making memes about it already about how many iron nuggets you needed for the shop. So honestly, I was expecting it to be even worse than it was. But yeah, I played the first time ever I played Animal Crossing. I did it completely as you're supposed to play. I didn't time travel at all. I didn't get any resources from anyone else for a while. So I played the game. I almost said biblically. I don't know about that. I played the game how you're quote unquote supposed to. I literally walked in here expecting my Lorien house. This has been another jump scare. I'm not used to having a new island. I also didn't realize you could run for like the first month and a half that I was playing. So I was always walking around at this speed for everything. I didn't realize that you could just burst into a sprint. Had no idea. Look at me getting all nostalgic on my new island. Oh, I only got nine tree branches. Honestly, this is fitting because if Animal Crossing isn't like borderline, getting on your nerves. Are you really playing? I had some gifts in my mailbox, so that's super exciting. Oh my gosh. My whole thing earlier was that I thought I would have a workbench at home and now I can make one. I've got the paradise planning photo. I forgot that I have to start over with Happy Home Paradise as well. That's so sad. And then my in-game mom sent me some apples. So I guess we'll plant those and start our world takeover as we become a billionaire. This is also fitting because uh, someone in the live stream mentioned that I should do like a poison apple stand, like the witch from Snow White. So, you know, now we're, we're getting started on our poisoned apples. Okay, I'm on the hunt for one tree branch. Here it is. And now we can go make another flimsy ax. I can also, thanks to Tammy, go ahead and dig up this bell tree. I think we'll go ahead and plant everything we've got. We'll do 9,000 bells. So then I can make like 27,000 bells. I think it always works as long as you do 10,000 or less. I can't remember. So now we've got our money tree. Okay, I've decided I'm not going to put you through the agony of collecting Nook Mile Shop. Nook Mile Shop! Nook's cranny resources with me. So, you know, I'm going to do that off camera. If you want to donate Nook Mile tickets or resources or anything witchy for my new theme, to me, please let me know in my Discord. It's linked in the description. If you're not already a member, you can just ping me in the freebies channel or something and I will have you over to my island because a girl is desperate. Everyone say bye Tom Nook and bye Timmy and I will see you all in the next video. Remember to check out Merge Gardens in the link in the description. Bye!